One of the nice things about N8N is that a lot of the tools are already available to you and you don't necessarily have to create another scenario. So now there are times where you do, like in this case. So you can see here, if I go into this tool here, this specific tool is actually calling a different workflow. And it feels a bit more like Make, where you have a separate scenario. And you have to do this when you examine the tools along the right-hand side, and you just can't find the tool that you need. Whereas a lot of the tools are built in, so you don't actually have to build out a complete scenario. So in Make, every single one of your tools is a separate scenario. Whereas in N8N, they already have a bunch of tools that can be integrated directly into a single scenario so that you don't have to have all of these separate workflows for each individual tool, which can become a pain. Now let's go ahead and just run this one time. Let's test this workflow. Let's jump back to the assistant and say, please create me an image of a man on a bike. All right, let's jump back to N8N. And now we have the scenario running. Now, the other thing that I would mention here as well is that, again, this is much more visual in the sense that we can see the agent running. We can see that it's generating the image. When it's done with the image, we can see that it's now going back to OpenAI to figure out what we should write back to Telegram. And then in this case, I had two different outputs. If it's a file, I actually download it and send it so that we actually get the image here. But the thing to note here is that it's just much more visual and you can see what's going on. Now, you can also come in here and you can see the exact output and how the agent was behaving. You can look at the logs and then you can go deeper into the agent and look at the memory. And then you can also look at the prompts that were sent to OpenAI and then all the different steps all along the way. 